Next up, we have our second last presenter from the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Please welcome Lizzie Baker. Picture this. You're taking the train in New York City when all of a sudden panic begins to arise amongst the passengers. You look out your window to see what's going on and notice that the bridge up ahead of your tracks has broken and your train is headed straight toward the edge. You begin to lose hope, but then you notice a man dressed in red and blue at the front of the train. He's shooting some sort of web-like material out of his hands, anchoring the train to its surroundings, slowing it down and stopping it just before you reach the edge. This man is a hero, but who is he? If you guess that the hero of our story is Spider-Man, you are correct. Now, I hate to say this, but unfortunately, Spider-Man is a fictional character. However, some of his superpowers may actually resemble some truth. Did you know that natural spider silk can be as strong as steel? It's also hypoallergenic, biodegradable, more eco-friendly, and cost-effective than most materials. Currently, there are over one million people affected by spinal cord injuries in North America alone. And unfortunately, as adults, our natural ability to heal these nerves following injury is extremely limited. So that's why there are no current cures or effective treatments for those suffering from spinal cord injuries. And this leaves patients subject to a lifetime of physical impairments, such as the loss of mobility and other health complications, as well as psychological distress and a huge economic burden. So that's why finding an effective treatment for nerve damage in the central nervous system has been long considered one of the holy grails in medicine. So why not take some inspiration from a superhero? Now, we can't shoot it from our wrists, but our lab has developed ways to synthetically make spider silk. There are seven different types of spider silk found in nature, all produced from different proteins within the spiders. However, my research focuses on the silk that spiders use to wrap up their prey. This is called a cineform silk, and a cineform silk is the toughest of the seven types. So my goal is to engineer a new version of a cineform silk that will better support nerve growth. And since we can make this protein and produce the silk fibers synthetically, it allows us to alter their structure and design them for a specific application, in this case, nerve regeneration. So my project aims to develop an acinoform silk biomaterial that will help adhere, support, and guide the growth of nerve cells. And I can do this by adding additional protein sequences into the silk. And they can do things like bind directly to the cells and act as a scaffold, or attract other molecules to the cells to help them grow better. So, I don't know about you, but my spotty senses are telling me that spider silk biomaterials are the future of regenerative medicine. Thanks.